Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate it. Uh, Smiling Friends, season two. Tell me, what, what can we expect from a, another fun season? Uh, it's going to be a lot of the same but different in a good way. There's going to be more cartoons, more characters, but the same cartoons, but then a mix of that. You can probably speak to that better than me. Yeah, no, I was going to say, it's kind of like there's more cartoons, but they're the same cartoons, but they're different cartoons. It's kind of like more of the same but different. Yeah, and they make people smile. And people smile, will smile again. Right, yeah, yeah. And, yeah, there you go. So you guys are basically going to be doing the same thing your characters are. But just, different. But different. It's the same thing. And it's the same. It's a cop. It take hours to explain. Yeah. So not season one, but season, season two. two. Season right. Two. We put a number yeah, next to it. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, no, we put a lot of hard work into it. Same with season one. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a small crew and a lot of talented people working on it. A lot of our friends from YouTube that we got to do voices and animation bit parts. So, yeah, it's a, we're very excited for it. So... Yeah, are you? Yeah, yeah we got, uh, can I say who we got? You sure. Why not? A little guy called Tom Cruise. You might have heard of him. He's not anywhere near our show, but we got some other good people. I was just thinking about what an awesome actor he is. He could be in season three if we really try. Yeah. Wait, are you serious? Did we actually get Tom Cruise? Yeah. Oh, I, I thought I, you were I joking at first. Totally <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. I love that guy. I like the, all the a, action. That's a, that's a reveal. Wow. Okay. Okay. Well... Cool. There you go. Well, we look forward to having <laughs> talk, hearing Tom Cruise on your show. Um, yeah, I got, I got to ask you guys, you know, where does a concept like this come from? I, I love working with Adult Swim creators just because it, it feels like such an imaginative world, imaginative bunch where you get certain shows and ideas that really you never think of before. Uh, it's a lot of us just, you know, we'll call each other and have fun together and uh, whatever makes us laugh, we'll usually end up in a script or a or a story idea. Uh, it's not that much more complicated than that. It's a lot of just like happy accidents and flukes and uh, us ripping off people. It's stealing, honestly, it's stealing, stealing plundering. plundering. <laughs> uh, what else? I mean, what do you uh, I mean, any, cr any like, like blue collar or white collar crime, like embezzlement. I mean, every, I mean, my God, just please don't look into our dealings. But um, yeah, I would say most of our ideas come from the beach. Yep. Like the location of the beach, whenever we go, I think the vitamin D plus like the jellyfish and like the, right. just the damn vibe, if I can even yeah, say yeah. that. But like, <laughs> no, so if you ever want, you sorry, I'm sorry, bleep that off. Well, yeah, I love the beach, love vitamin D, get out there and have a walk and you'll feel better and you'll come up with ideally funny cartoons. You can have that back. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, no, they're, they're really funny, really simple. Uh, where do you guys uh, have, lay your foundation to make sure you have really a balanced experience? You have, you know, really, really funny moments, kind of some, sometimes a little bit gross. I think my favorite moments are when you guys just like all of a sudden switch from animation to something a little bit more realistic. And I go, oh, what was that? That, that actually doesn't look very good uh, in, in real life. Oh, it doesn't look good. Okay. No, I'm kidding. No, no, I'm kidding. Wait, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. You're good. We, we, we think the same. Um, it's whatever just, like I say, just whatever entertains up us at the time. Uh, and also we like to keep the audience on edge, not knowing what to expect. Who knows what could happen next? That's kind of our mentality. It's just like every second, every, every microsecond should be new and entertaining and surprising. So it's pretty as simple as that. The audience needs to know that at any second, something could just fly at the camera in a, in a jump scare moment, like in a beat of silence. So we can just like fucking scare the shit out of the audience, but I but you know we don't do it that often. Right, I thought you were gonna like no, punch no, the no, cameraman no, at that no, point. No, that would have made a great no, viral no, video. No, 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 I saw the things going around your brain. Should I punch the camera? Should I punch the camera and the cameraman? Yeah, it would have been funny. It would have been good, but I would guess he didn't do it. But anyway. Now we can't talk about smiley friends without talking about the theory of happiness. Now. You guys are obviously experts on it now. Being we're going into a second season of a group of people that that is their job. Tell me, what is it about that concept that you guys love so much? Um, you can, you can, you're, you're just the damn jux, but because you were just saying just the whole theme of kind of the happiness thing, right? That was your question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I would, yeah. I'm, I was paying attention. I'm just a moron. Sorry. That's why I passed the motion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, uh, you know, the juxtaposition of uh, the theme of it is. You know, if, if it was ugly characters with an ugly world about depression, it wouldn't be that interesting. So in honestly, it's the juxtaposition of the colorful, you know, the little cartoon, little candy characters, colorful characters, plus the horrible theme seems to be a good, uh, not even a horrible theme, but maybe a, <laughs> a, a, a horrible, nasty, no good, rotten theme, plus uh, nice characters. Seems like a good balance. You're able to do a lot with that. Yes. I agree. Does Everything that, you just said is genius, and I agree with it. I don't know what else to add. Right I can't add anything else. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's it, yeah.
Now, I was, I was listening to an interview you guys did before about a possible fifth smiling friend. And now, like, the, the whole time now, that's all I've been thinking about. Who was it? Who was it? And I feel like I got to yeah. go back. Uh, can you tell me a little bit more about, about that? I and mean, if we're going to see that in season uh, two? I feel like just it's – I think we'll spoil it if we talk about it too much. I think just go and find it. He's there. Uh, he or she, we don't know. We don't judge. It's, it's – well, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I think it's – but, um, yeah, it's there somewhere in the background. Um, what else? We, you know, the the recurring theme, one of the reoccurring themes, and there's a lot of smiling friends, is the fifth smiling friend, right? And so in season one, we have a hidden one. We have Smorbu, who's kind of a joke one. He got beaten to death or whatever happened to him. Z Zongo, in season two, we have a character called Zongo. Zongo. So just remember keep an eye that on that name. Remember, remember, say my name. You ever see Breaking Bad? Say, my, say Zongo's name. And you'll, it all makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't now, but doesn't uh, yeah. Now. So, but um, yeah. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for the show. I mean, it's a, it's a really good time, and uh, I, I just love the pacing of it and loves how it makes me feel every at the end of every episode. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you thank thank very you. much. And uh, thank you, audience. I hope, hope you have a good day. <laughs> God bless America and God bless our troops. Like we always say that's my friends.